yourself of all kinds of, you know, of all those kinds of expectations, then you'll find that it's great fun to put things together. You know, all of you will start small. Some of you will grow up to have very big businesses. Some of you will grow up to have moderate businesses. Some of you will grow up to have small businesses. It doesn't matter. Every company in the world is not a big company. Uh, you know, there are companies that are small and very nimble and very, very good at what they do. Similarly, there are entrepreneurs who might not be very big, but you might be excellent at what you do. So the important thing is judge success on your terms, not on somebody else's terms. Because what looks like success to you may or may not look like success to someone else. The problem with living up to someone else's expectations is you don't know what their expectations are going to be. And why should any of us live up to someone else's expectations? The most important person in our life is us. Everybody else comes later, your children, your husband, your everybody comes later. And I think one of the problem that a lot of, one of the problems I think a lot of women have is, we are thinking about everybody else before we think of ourselves. And I'm certainly not saying that you don't think of anybody else. I think we all have responsibilities and we have to deal with those responsibilities in a manner which is responsible. But we also have a responsibility to ourselves. You have to, you have to create for yourself whatever you desire to create for yourself. And if you're OK with saying that I really don't want to have a business, I don't want to have a career, I'm just going to look after my kids and travel and enjoy the world, that is also fine. There is no guilt associated with any choice that you make. But once you make a choice, you have to be responsible. Once you become an entrepreneur, you're responsible not just to yourself, but also to the people that you will employ. You're responsible not just to yourself, but also to the banks that will put money based on your credibility. You're responsible not just to yourself, but also to your consumers and your customers who are very important for your business to succeed. So I think the important thing really is to get clear on what you want to do and to define success in your terms. Um, will you have doubts? Of course you will have doubts. Uh, you know, if things were fairly straightforward and clear and the path was very clear, it would, it would be easy for all of us. But the path is not always clear. As somebody said, that you know, when you focus on the obstacles, you never see the goal. But once you focus on the goal, you will take care of the obstacles that come in your way. So again, it depends on what your attitude is and where you're starting from. If you say that, oh my god, it's so difficult to do business in this country because you don't get this and you don't get that and everything is corrupt and so on and so forth, frankly, you won't get anywhere. The other attitude is to say, you know what, it's not easy, but so many people before me have done it and so many people after me will do it. So let me give it my best shot. And I can tell you with great confidence and great certainty that no matter what anybody says about India, sometimes it takes us longer, sometimes it is very arduous, sometimes it is very bureaucratic, Sometimes it just is very, you know, irritating, but it is possible to do what you want to do here. Um, and you just have to be focused, you have to be clear, and you have to set your own, uh, you know, rules in terms of how you want uh, to work. So it's about, again, I come back to conviction. It is about being smart about what you want to do. That's another thing. You know, there are a lot of people who say, you know, I'm really passionate about this. Well, passion is good to start with. But passion without competence doesn't get you anywhere. Uh, you know, if you are passionate, then either you have to be competent or you have to go and find people who are competent. So it is both about being passionate about what you want to do and having the competence to do it. 
So competence without passion will only get you so far. Passion without competence will not get you very far at all. So remember another thing that when you are the entrepreneur, when you are the founder, when you are the promoter, whatever you want to call yourself, you also need to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you. In fact, if you look at great corporations that have been successful over hundreds of years, one of the things that great corporations always do or great leaders always do is they surround themselves with other people who are smarter than them, who are more competent than them. Because none of us can do everything. Not even Prime Minister Modi can do everything on his own, as we have seen. Uh, you know, you might believe that you're the best person to do this job, but we can't. There are, you know, there are too many, too many variables in the environment that need to be managed, irrespective of the size of your operation or of your business. So therefore, the second thing that all successful entrepreneurs have experienced is you have a vision, you have a dream, you have to have the ability to be able to take that vision and dream and craft it into small steps that you will take to realize that vision and dream. Nobody can go from there to there without taking some small steps in between. You'll have to take some steps sideways as well because things you expect will happen don't happen. When you expect things to happen in a particular way, they don't necessarily happen in that particular way. But if you're focused on the goal, you will take care of the obstacles. So successful people are those people who also surround themselves with, uh, you know, with competency.